Heavenly Father, I come before you this morning with a heart full of gratitude and joy, offering you my praise and thanksgiving for the week that has passed. I lift up my voice to glorify you, Lord, for you are good and your mercy endures forever. Your faithfulness has been evident in every moment of this week, and I thank you for your constant presence and guidance. You have sustained me, provided for me, and surrounded me with your love, and I am deeply grateful. As I begin this new day, I lift this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, my Savior and Redeemer. Father, I thank you for every blessing you have poured out this past week. Your word tells me to give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 So today, I choose to give thanks for all that has happened, both the joys and the challenges knowing that you have been working in every situation for my good and your glory. I praise you for the ways you have revealed your faithfulness and love to me each day. Lord, I thank you for the simple blessings of life that often go unnoticed but are so precious waking up each morning with breath in my lungs, having food on my table and being surrounded by the people I love. These everyday blessings are reminders of your grace and provision. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Lamentations 3, 22, 23 Great is your faithfulness, O God and I thank you for your new mercies that were with me each day of this week. Father, I also want to thank you for the moments of joy and celebration this week, whether it was in my work, in my home, or in the relationships I cherish. You have given me reasons to smile and rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Philippians 4, 4. I rejoice in you, Lord, for you are the source of my joy. Thank you for the laughter, the conversations, and the moments of peace and contentment. Thank you for the little victories that reminded me of your grace and favor. Lord, I am grateful for the strength you have given me to face the challenges and difficulties that came my way this week. Though not every day was easy, I thank you that you were with me in every trial, giving me the courage to persevere and the wisdom to navigate through tough situations. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 Your grace was sufficient for me this week, Lord, and I thank you for empowering me to press on. Even when I felt weak or unsure, you are my strength and my refuge, and I trust in you always. Father, I also thank you for the lessons you have taught me this week. In moments of difficulty or confusion, you were my guide, teaching me to rely on you and to trust in your wisdom. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Proverbs 3, 5, 6 Thank you for the ways you directed my steps and for the peace that came from knowing you are in control. Help me to continue to trust in your guidance and to follow where you lead, even when I don't fully understand your plans. Lord, I am grateful for the relationships in my life, and I thank you for the opportunities I had this week to connect with the people I care about. Whether it was spending time with family 
sharing conversations with friends, or reaching out to someone in need, I thank you for the gift of fellowship. A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for a time of adversity. Proverbs 17, 17. Thank you for the love and support of the people around me and help me to be a blessing to them as well. I pray that you continue to strengthen these relationships and use them to reflect your love and grace. Father, I also want to thank you for the work you have given me to do, whether it's in my job, my home, or in ministry. I recognize that every task I take on is an opportunity to serve you and to bring glory to your name. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. Colossians 3.23 Thank you for the strength, creativity and wisdom you provided me this week to accomplish the tasks before me. I am grateful for the opportunities I had to use the gifts and talents you have given me. And I pray that you would continue to bless the work of my hands in the coming week. Lord, I also want to thank you for the quiet moments this week when I could draw near to you in prayer and reflection. You are my refuge and my strength and I find peace in your presence. Be still and know that I am God. Psalm 46.10 Thank you for the stillness of those moments when I could rest in you, and remember that you are in control of all things. Help me to continue to seek you in the busyness of life, to make time for quiet moments with you, and to prioritize my relationship with you above all else. Father, I know that not every moment of this week was perfect, and there were times when I may have fallen short or failed to live up to the standards you have set for me. But I thank you for your grace and forgiveness. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1, 9 Thank you for the forgiveness you offer me through Jesus Christ. I am grateful that I can come to you, confess my sins, and know that you will cleanse me and set me back on the right path. Help me to walk in your righteousness and to grow in holiness with each passing day. Lord, as I reflect on this week, I am reminded of the many ways you have provided for me and protected me. You are my provider, and I trust in your provision for all my needs. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4.19 Thank you for meeting my needs this week, whether physical, emotional, or spiritual. You have been faithful to provide and I trust that you will continue to do so in the days to come. Father, I also want to thank you for the ways you have been at work in my heart this week. You are constantly shaping me, refining me, and making me more like Christ. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Ephesians 2.10 I thank you for the work you're doing in me, and I pray that you would continue to mold me into the woman you have called me to be. Help me to surrender more fully to your will and to trust in the process of transformation that you are leading me through. Lord, as I close this prayer, I simply want to thank you for your love. Your love is unfailing, unchanging, and unconditional. And I am so grateful to be your child, for I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. 
Romans 8, 38, 39. Thank you that nothing can separate me from your love. Help me to rest in that love, to trust in it, and to share it with others. Father, as I move into the next week, I ask for your continued guidance, protection, and blessing. Help me to carry the lessons of this week into the days ahead and to continue growing in my relationship with you. I offer this prayer of gratitude for the good week I have experienced, and I thank you for your faithfulness in every moment. I pray all of this in the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Amen. We believe this prayer has added virtue to your faith and is already active in your life. We invite you to share your response by commenting, Amen. Your engagement is more than just support. It's a way to spread hope and faith. If you feel inspired, please share this video with your friends and family. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily prayers that uplift and inspire. Your involvement is invaluable to us. We also welcome your prayer request. Feel free to leave them in the comments. And together, as a community, we will bring them before God. Your faith and our collective prayers can create a powerful force for blessings and victory. Remember, you're not just a viewer. You're a vital part of this journey of faith. Each like, share, and subscription helps us reach more hearts every day. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ accompany you always.